Are you serious? Are you serious? We have more breaking news. Let's go to Tennessee. We've got a train derailment. It's on fire and it's releasing very toxic chemicals into the air and people are being evacuated. So in lieu of the fact we have, whether we have a shooting or we don't have a shooting, the situation still on lockdown at the Washington DC Naval Yard, we may have a different, a totally different situation developing and could it be terroristic? Maybe, could it just be an accident? Maybe, we don't know. I'd be suspicious of anything that has to do with explosions and toxic chemicals and that type of thing with any rail, railways or anything to do with airlines, anything to do with uh, chemical plants. I'd be on high, high alert this weekend as ISIS has declared a Ramadan war and they're carrying it out. We know what happened in Egypt yesterday, although the mass media, your lamestream media hasn't even told you that ISIS attacked five Egyptian checkpoints with a military scale assault, killing at least 64 Egyptian soldiers, take, wounding many of them and taking many of them hostage in, along the border with Israel, uh, putting the Israeli military on high alert, as well as the Jordanian and the Americans. And we don't know exactly what the Egyptians' response will be to this, but it is ISIS all the way. Well. In Tennessee, we have a situation. CSX Corporation is saying that they have a train that has derailed in Blount County, Tennessee. It caught on fire. It is releasing toxic plumes and toxic smoke. Are you serious? People are being evacuated throughout the entire area. This derailed train was carrying a Krillion trial, uh, a product used in the manufacture of plastics according to this company spokeswoman, Christine Seeley. The CSX train was traveling from Cincinnati, Ohio to Waycross, Georgia. It has two locomotives, 45 loaded rail cars, and a, with a mix different types of freight, including this toxic um, chemical. So again, train derailment, Tennessee, toxic plume and smoke, evacuations, all of that going on simultaneously with this shooting or non-shooting, this threat, this situation that has developed at the Washington DC Navy Yard, the same location where a man back in 2013 went in and murdered 12 people and wounded eight before being shot dead himself in the, uh, in the Navy Yard two years ago. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. I am trying to stay on top of these stories. We are living in an end time apocalyptic hour. We're at the edge of eternity. We're on the brink of the beast. Something biblical is going on, folks, with all these signs of the second coming of Christ. There is distress in nations, and America is under distress in many different areas of it, spiritually, financially, morally, ethically, and terroristically, we're under assault. Are you saved? Jesus is coming soon. You do not want to be left behind. These are just the beginning of sorrows. It is going to get a whole lot worse, but it's going to also come to an end, and Christ is coming for the bride. Don't be left behind. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Accept him as, a, as your savior. Be born into the kingdom. He's coming for the bride. God bless.